In this video, you will learn how to install SciPy library in the Visual Studio Code Editor. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. Now the prerequisite for this installation is that you need to have this Visual Studio Code and the Python installed into your system. But if you do not have the Python installed into your system, then I have already created a separate video for that and you would find the link of that video in the description below. So once we have the Visual Studio and the Python installed, we will open that Python project in the Visual Studio code for which we want to install SciPy library. And for that, we will click on this file here, then go to this open. And now we will navigate to the location where our project is present. So for me, it is present inside the downloads folder. So I will go to the downloads, then select projects and here I will click on this SciPy project and finally I will click on this open. Now before installing SciPy we will create a virtual environment for this opened project because it is recommended to have a separate virtual environment for each of the python project. So we will also create the virtual environment first and after that only we will install the SciPy library inside the created virtual environment. But in case you already have the virtual environment for your project then you can skip the creation part and directly activate the environment and after that you can install the scipy library inside that activated environment. So to create the virtual environment first we will open the terminal and for that we will click on this terminal then select this new terminal here. So now our terminal is opened and in this terminal we will type python3 space minus m space venv space and now we will type the name of the virtual environment which we want to create so let's say this is my env so this command is for mac system but in case you are using windows then you would see the command on screen now we will hit enter to execute this command and once this command is executed successfully we will see this my env folder which is created inside our project folder and this my env will have all the necessary libraries and scripts in it and now we will activate this created environment and for that we will write source space my env forward slash bin forward slash activate now again this command is for mac os but for windows you would see the command on screen now we will hit enter and as soon as this command is executed, we will see this my env within these brackets, which is the indication that this particular environment is currently active. Now finally, we will install the scipy library in this activated virtual environment. And for that, we will type pip3 space install space scipy. And once this is installed, we will see this message of successful installation. Now to verify the installation, let's print all the libraries that are currently installed in the current activated environment. So let me first clear the terminal so that it would be better visible to you. Now here we will run this command which is pip space list. So this will list down all the packages which are installed in the current activated environment. And here we will see the scipy library also which has this particular version. And this numpy library also got installed along with the scipy because this is the dependent library and this is required for proper functioning of scipy. Now we will write a small python script which will verify whether the scipy library is installed properly or not. So first we will create a python file and for that we will click on this new file icon here. And now we will give the name of the file. So let's say this is main.py. So this file is created inside our project folder. So make sure to create this inside the project folder, not in the my env folder. Now in this file, first of all, we will import the scipy module. So we will write import then scipy. And now we will also print the version of scipy. So we will write print then scipy dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore let's now save this file using command s and now to run this program we will again come to the terminal and type python space 
मेन डॉट पी वाई सो नाउ लेट मी नो इन कमेंट्स इफ दिस वीडियो वॉज यूजफुल टू यू एंड मेक श्योर टू हिट द लाइक बटन सो अवर कोड इज एग्जीक्यूटेड सक्सेसफुली एंड वी हैव गॉट द वर्जन ऑफ साईपाई हेयर विच इज सेम एज दिस वन सो इट मीन्स द साईपाई लाइब्रेरी इज इंस्टॉल्ड प्रॉपरली एंड वी कैन यूज दिस इन अवर पाइथन प्रोजेक्ट्स नाउ